Hello Driver Radio fans, Richard Rush here today with Walt McLean behind the camera. Today we're going to take a look at the 2019 Buick Envision. And for those of you that don't know, the Envision was introduced back in 2016 and really has kind of gone a little bit of a redesign now here in 2019. Um, and it's essentially slotted between uh, the Enclave and um, the, and I'm going to miss the other one so I'm going to have to pull it up. There, there, are, there are other smaller ones, but I'll make sure I get it here in a second. So with that being said, redesign for 2019, let's jump right in. So what What's new for 2019 on this vehicle? More powerful two liter um, engine, which works, which works really, really well. Nine speed automatic, wireless charging, and then restyled front and rear fascias, which you'll see. Um, let me see here. Again, I just want to make sure I get this. The Enclave and the Encore, I apologize, I knew it was an EN, of course. Um, again, the Encores are smaller, the Enclave's bigger, so this kind of fits right in there. It's a little bit smaller of a luxury vehicle, only five passengers, but it's really nice on the interior, really quiet, and does have that a lot of luxury features that people are really gonna like. So we're gonna open this, again, apologize for the weather. We've had this little mini sort of snow slash rain over here the past few days here in mid-October in Colorado beautiful interior like what they've done you got heated and ventilated front seats here automatic wipers you got all of your safety features that you're looking for dual climate control of course you've got the uh, the GMC system uh, in the middle there in terms of the infotainment system and then Walt before we do pan out make sure you show them the, the beautiful wood grain throughout as well as that panoramic um, sunroof which is a really really great feature um, for honestly this vehicle and one of our personal favorites and again as we always like to tell you um, Walt loves um, the panoramic sunroofs and, and for you manufacturers out there if you do care Walt will not buy a vehicle with that one um, it does have a heads-up display on it which works really really well it's full color which is really really great I am gonna just open this back seat so you can see what it looks like back here you do actually I'm gonna show the, the room here really quick Walt and you can kind of come in and and show what this looks like we've got vents right here you've got heated outboard seats outlets down below your temperature control as well as your fan speed right here and again your, your heated and ventilated front seats but plenty of room back here more than enough room for a car seat with this seat position as is right there I love the wood grain as well so we come around to the back here to kind of finish off automatic lift gate here in the rear which is really really nice again a, a good amount of room here in the back and I'm gonna get to that here in just one second as far as what the actual um, utility is 57.3 cubic feet of total cargo space when you when you fold everything down I want to say it's about uh, right around 20 or so with this up back here but but again you do have um, a little bit a few storage compartments down below here it's kind of velcro down which is a really nice feature for especially as we get into winter time for med kits that sort of stuff if you want to fold your 60 40 rear folding seat down you just pull those and you've got tight tie downs as well so as we kind of finish this vehicle off miles per gallon 20 and 25 for an average of 22 again it's got a two liter turbocharged engine there is a base engine that's available but if you can i would highly recommend upgrading to the two liter to the turbocharged it works fantastic especially at our altitude and some of you are saying well i don't care well if here's the deal if it works well at our altitude you know it's going to work well at sea level so just take that for what it's worth this is the all-wheel drive premium trim level which means it essentially has everything that you could possibly imagine on it the options on this vehicle are 19 inch aluminum wheels um, $1,500 which gives you the driver confidence package, the panoramic moonroof which is another $1,500 and then this chili red metallic paints about $400. Base price of this vehicle as it sits right here is $49,925. If you didn't want some of those options I mentioned, you can get this vehicle for $43,600. And I will say this, we love this car. I, I would absolutely own this car for the money. I like what they've done. I, I like the fact that it's more luxury, more luxurious. And I'll be honest, the biggest selling point in this vehicle for me is that two liter turbocharged engine. So with that being said, head to your local dealer, test drive this vehicle, get yourself in it, get your family in it if need be. And when you do that, let them know that John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.